Hello, welcome to the first special episode of Skog Menu. Woo! It's a podcast, we're doing a podcast. Oh man, I'm not going to lie, Rachel, this is so many of my dreams come true right now. I love Off Menu, so being in it is very cool. I've always wanted to host a podcast, and I'm doing that now. And it combines that with my love of the Jungle Skog, our Lord and Saviour the Bear. That's your host, Rachel Fearon. I'm the other one, Finn Garrett. How are you feeling, Rachel? I'm good, I'm good, I'm excited. I can't believe we've like turned this around in a week. I said it last Saturday, we should do this, and now we're filming it the Saturday after. The anniversary. Which is, it's, it's pretty rapid, really. I thought... So, I'm, in, yeah. I'm impressed. I, I'm proud of us. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we'd be too busy to do it this quickly. But here we are, with our sad, empty little life. So empty, we're filling it with the food choices of other people. Because that's what this podcast is all about. We're getting our friends in, and we'll ask them about their dream, starter, main course, dessert, side dish, and drink. Not in that order. It's a, it's a great t-shirt. It, oh. I'm very glad it, it came in time. It's, it's, it's really fitting. I, I feel underdressed. <laughs> you look amazing. Okay. Oh, no, you, you look fine. You look amazing. You've got lovely headphones. And the top one quarter of your jumper is lovely. Thank and, uh, you so much. Thanks. I, yeah, I'm really, really dressed up for this. <laughs> yeah, I picked it well, up today. Know, it's, it's more, more of an audio experience anyway. Yes. So. It is a podcast, to be sure. To be sure. So probably, right. if people are listening, when I read out the courses, I probably thought, why is he pausing so much between each one? Because I was pointing, listener, at the T-shirt that I'm wearing. Oh. Wow, should we get on with it? Yeah, let's get on with it. There's one more bit of admin we have to get through. The forbidden ingredient. Of course, of course. Which is, is mine this week. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't actually picked the forbidden ingredient. I've just put, picked the forbidden food. So if I guess I like this food, well, they're not. They're going to have to leave because I don't like it. One and short it first is, episode. It's baked cheesecake. Baked cheesecake? Specifically... Baked, because I love cheesecake, just oh, normal cheesecake. Who doesn't? Why are people fucking about with it mm. by putting it in an oven yeah. and it makes it disgusting? Why is there like a film on it? Why is it that consistency? Oh. Just have a normal cake or eat a normal cheesecake. Don't go baking cheesecake. I'm not having it. It's disgraceful and disgusting mm. and misleading. I see it on a menu. I get excited because I think, oh, cheesecake. Mm. And it's not cheesecake. Mm. It's the devil's work. The devil's so work. Mm. That's why that's... I'm not having any baked cheesecake <laughs> in Good. the drink restaurant. <laughs> Good reasoning. It says Elton John said, "Don't go baking my cheesecake." <laughs> True. So that was that was the lyric. I don't think I've ever had a baked cheesecake. I've definitely had cheesecake cheesecake. But I don't think I've ever had it baked. Well, good, <laughs> good. Don't. I'll take your word for it. You said it's got a film on the top? Yeah, there's like there's like a it's like a film. You know if you do like if you make like a milk hot chocolate in the microwave. Yes. There's like that film of milk you get on the top. Yeah. There's like that round the cheesecake, but it's like thicker. Ooh. Okay. Baked cheesecake it is. I'd be very yeah. surprised if it comes up in any course other than dessert. So I think hopefully we'll have a, a full first episode, make it until the end, yes. and then Either Emily stays or can go. Because we haven't actually said our guest. Our guest no. for our first episode is Emily Davidson. Woo! How exciting. So grateful that someone volunteered to go first. <laughs> Especially someone as food-loving and as lovely as Emily is. So true. Because there were, you know, people we wouldn't have wanted, really. Yeah. Oh, so probably like most of them. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. So good job it was Emily who yeah. said yes. Most of these are going to be a real slog to get through, but this one should be a good one. A good pilot. Yay! Let's get on with the episode. Woo! Let's go on with it. Hopefully, Emily doesn't say baked cheesecake. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Welcome, Emily, to the Scog Menu podcast. Uh, Welcome, uh, Emily Davidson, to the Scog Menu podcast. We've been expecting you for some time. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm very delighted to be here today. Lovely. I'm your sure. genie waiter, oh. Finn. That's Rachel, the owner of this restaurant. Whoa, oh. I get to own it? Yeah. Sick. You're Congratulations. the owner. Congratulations. Oh, nice. I'm your genie well. servant. Oh, we've also oh. got toast here today. Oi! Yeah. Toast and scone. Exactly. Wait, wait, I have a friend wait. too. Oh, yes. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Perfect. Okay. We've we all got like. Oh, nice. Whoa. <laughs> I brought all the food jelly cats out in honor of nice. the menu. Oh, I can't reach the egg. Oh, there is an egg there. That's so many. That, that's it's just me and Chucky. Nice. Legend. Oh, I feel nice. I feel so much more original than you guys. Wow. This is cool. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. I, I think well, that was really mean, Finn. Oh, I'm, okay. I'll edit it out then. I'm sorry. The skull does have a hat though, so that's yeah. quite original. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's pretty How are you doing, Emily? Welcome to the restaurant. Thank you. It smells delicious in this restaurant. Oh, nice. The oh. ovens are cooking Thanks. away. But before we get to oh. your food, we've got a few questions to ask first. Okay, okay. That is so true. We need you to set the scene for us. Oh. Tell us. Tell us about your restaurant. All right. So it's evening time, it's a bit dark outside, a bit chilly, okay? We're in the winter okay. and you step into the restaurant and you instantly, you just smell the bread. You can hear it, like all the people chattering and it's very dimly lit and very ambient lighting. Mm. So it's very nice, cozy, a little bit romantic nice. and people are ready for a chill evening. Nice. No. Yeah, that's lovely. Are yeah. you picturing like a specific sort of town or country or is it just sort of generic nondescript midwinter place? Midwinter, but the views are of like forest. There's very like woodland vibes. Oh, nice. Big windows. Have you got big windows or is it like part of the oh, woods? Oh, hell yeah. Do you like. No, no, no. Floor to ceiling windows. Oh, nice. Oh. Very cool. Mm. Like a conservatory style. Exactly. So you can dine, you can have that brilliant view mm. and not be cold. Nice. Oh. Is, it, is it a specific forest? Is it a magical forest? <laughs> Let's go with a magical forest. There's some little elves running around. Oh, oh cute. Very cute. nice. Yeah. Very nice. They're just just there to watch. Yeah. Are there little elf-sized tables on the floor? Like little no, they don't get to dine with us. They, oh, no. okay. Oh, okay. No, they're, a, they're not invited. It's a very segregated <laughs> magical forest. <laughs> <laughs> they need an invite, okay? This is exclusive. <laughs> well, exclusive. Speaking yeah. of invites and dining, you're obviously here with the owner, Rachel. I can't tell if I'm oh. pointing. I, from my view, I'm pointing at Rachel, but I might not be for you guys. No, you're pointing at Rachel. Oh, fantastic. If you're so not obviously... pointing at me, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, Rachel, the owner, is here. I, the waiter, I am here. You've got Skog and all your associated jelly cats, but we, you've got some yes, guests yes. with you as well. Who have you got? Who are I you do. dining with? Right. On my left, we have Miyazaki himself. Okay. Wow. The legend, the icon, he oh, just wow. decided to come and dine with me tonight. Wow. Who Who is this person? Oh, Miyazaki is... Who? Hayao Miyazaki? The, yeah. Uh, the film director and creator of a lot of Studio Ghibli films. Oh, Slay! Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Such films as My Neighbor Totoro, Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke. You've seen these, right, Rachel? Um... Uh, uh-oh. It's question. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I've seen, oh, no, wow. I've seen other streams. I've seen um, Kiki's Delivery Service. Okay. And I've seen... Okay. Um, oh, what's the one I have seen? Uh, <laughs> don't know about the castle? Howl. Howl's Moving Castle. Castle in the Oh. oh. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen Howl's Moving Castle. I saw the new one. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, the Boy and the Heron? Yes. No. The Boy and the Heron. Heron. It just wow. happened to be that specific list you went for. <laughs> I, I, seen any. I went for the three most famous iconic ones. We're getting we're getting all <laughs> kinds of scoops from this podcast, and it wasn't even the guest we're learning about. Wow. I know. Rachel is bashing. A more a more underground, you know. More, <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I'm yeah. not I'm not basic like that. You're not mainstream. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not mainstream, Ghibli. Okay, so okay. Hayao Miyazaki's there. Can he, because yeah. I have genie powers, obviously, so can you converse with him or do you want the language barrier still in place? 
I'm gonna be able to converse with him. Okay. I need to pick his brain. Yes. Okay. Would you rather he can now speak English fluently, or you can now speak fluent Japanese, but just for the course of the meal? Fluent Japanese. Mm. English is boring. I've spoken it for nineteen years. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that would be a mad choice if you were like, nah, he should yeah. speak English. I have to ask. I have to ask. <laughs> I forget you're 19. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. I keep forgetting as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So guess oh. number one, Hayao Miyazaki. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Who's to mm-hmm. your right? To my right, we've got George Clooney, but specifically <laughs> as Fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> 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 okay. Not the actual George Clooney, just Mr. S- Fox. So the, Mr. F- the Fantastic Man himself is there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Life size or claymation model sized? Life size. I don't feel like looking at the floor while yeah. I'm trying to talk to him. Okay. Uh, but yeah. I have so okay, I've got uh, so many questions. <laughs> okay, um, there is there is a partial reasoning. I did write down mm. some brief reasons, including his voice. He has a sexy voice. Yeah. He does have a sexy voice. Well, famously, exactly. he's got a sexy body attached to that voice in real life as well. But I mean, if you if you prefer the claymation fox, that's fine. But no, the the fox is more attractive. <laughs> See, Rachel gets it. Rachel gets it. Okay. Okay. Then him as a general character, his personality. He's got a little comedic style. Mm-hmm. He just gets mm-hmm. it. He brings comedic dad vibe to the party. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the night, you know, we go on a little heist, steal oh, some chickens, steal yeah. some apples. Yeah. Okay. We always have to live at upper party. That does sound so, good. That's why I brought him tonight. That does sound good. I've still got so many. Is this a a, a friendship thing or are you? Is this a romantic type? Because like, are you are you here for? We'll see where the heist takes us. See, we'll it see where it takes us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Next question. Does he eat like he does in the film? Because I mean, we're... how else would he eat? That's yeah, part of the charm. Enough. Yeah, I mean, we're at, gobbling up all the stuff. I had to know <laughs> because, like, now for every item of food that you say, I'm now going to picture it being <laughs> like ripped apart the way Fantastic Mr. Fox is in the film. As it should be. That's the only way to properly enjoy food. Is that I how you're going to you... be eating? Yeah, everyone has to eat like that. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd feel embarrassed. Uh, exactly. Yes. I would we love... need to make everyone included. I would love to see how Miyazaki absolutely like tearing into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. just you wait just wait till the night gets started okay then you'll see. okay uh final question i can think of now is this pre or post tail being shot off mm, post it's character building okay oh okay yeah he has gone through an arc to be fair by the end of the film He's yeah more... the trauma <laughs> yeah you want him filled with trauma that's what you're looking for <laughs> i can't stop the tail from being shot off so you just gotta experience him in all his form like, I can't pick and choose what that's... part of him I want and what part I don't. Mm, very healthy, that. So true. That's because, yeah. like, I guess if you're doing it pre the tail being shot off, as you said, there's no way to stop it. So you'd spend the entire meal thinking, he's happy now, but come. Just wait. Yeah, just you wait. <laughs> you're not going to be able to stop looking at the tail. You're going to be like, oh yeah. man, I can't, I can't tell you why, but like, appreciate the tail now. Tell and he's going to be like, what? I know. Like, we know I'm not good with secrets, so I'm just going to end up letting it slip at some point. Yeah. <laughs> and also, none of you will have tails. You can all be tailored. Well, actually, I don't know the rest of your guests. But so far, you're all oh, tails. The rest of the guests are not foxes, so that, that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move on to your next guest. You've had two. Okay, okay. Our, uh, our third guest out of four mm-hmm. is the one and only Leve. Oh, very cool. Okay, well, very she cool. brings that chill, old romantic vibe. So, you know, just have a little bit of laugh, have a bit of chill. And at the end of the night, maybe we'll do some karaoke before the heist, obviously. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, just the way to hear that fun jazz, you know? Mm, yeah. Is there a nice, like, piano in the restaurant? Oh, yeah. Go, we get some tunes to play in. Mm. Yeah. Oh, get laid. I see the vision. album. It'll be too good. Too good. Ooh. Be too good whilst you're absolutely devouring. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Running up all the food and just giving them like, little tunes. <laughs> uh, this isn't relevant, but my grandma once went to the Ritz and they have a piano in the Ritz and she just like started playing it for the people in the Ritz. And I thought I'd bring Whoa. Just on the topic it's of there cool. being a piano in the restaurant, I just thought I'd, I'd drop that. 
Little flex. Yeah. I've never been to the Ritz, cool, but though. I don't know what my grandma was doing there. I don't know how they let her in. <laughs> she, she was a farmer. I think she was like in a pharmaceuticals at the time, so I don't know how she got how she got in. But I think you can't just pay to go in. Oh, really? Like, yeah, it's like that crazy exclusive. Like, I think it's expensive, mm. but like, I think you can't yeah, just always get dressed very formally. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. They can turn you away if you're like in your tracksuit. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do a Jess Glynn. Okay. Wait, what did Jess Glynn do? That was the time she, like, I don't know what turned up. She turned up to something that she was meant to be smart for, and she was, like, in her tracksuit bottom, and she's like, I got turned away and told the internet, and the internet was like, no, kind of fair enough. Like, they told you to dress up, and you look terrible. So, fair enough, man. Damn. I didn't know that. Yeah. Are, you, are you wearing tracksuits at this meal? No. Oh. I had fancy guests. I have to dress up for them. I would really Ooh. like to see Hayao Miyazaki in a tracksuit, though. That's like, personally, I think that'd be a really fun sight. Like a bright pink Adidas oh. tracksuit. Yeah. No, one of the Juicy Couture ones with the gentle. Oh. <laughs> That's even better. That's even better. Nice. The little head up as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like like low waisted with like the crop the crop <laughs> yeah <laughs> no glasses on <laughs> oh this is that would be good the, the... Well, that's actually what he's wearing tonight good coincidence <laughs> whoa back to back to Leve. um if she if she's going to perform three songs tonight i don't know why i've settled on three because it seems like a good number which three of her songs would you like her to perform for you Love Sick Promise and Beautiful Stranger. Wow. That was fun. They're all very that was I fast. I just know I just know the Lave songs. Yeah. They're very romantic, very mm. slow. But they have like good climaxes and they build very dramatically. Yeah. So I recommend they're very wholesome songs. Oh nice. Nice. I like the well, right now, before we get into your final guest, you've got like one who's sort of like a father mentor figure, one who's like sort of a sister slash best friend, and then one who's like the one you want to fuck, basically. <laughs> That's like the, those are your three guests. But you gotta have a bit of variety. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got all the all the eggs, all the baskets. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> cover all grounds. Mm. <laughs> Who's number four? Let's do this now. Right, he's on my list, but is he? Oh, okay. They are Lena Sturck. I think I said that right. They are an author and graphic novelist. Ooh. And I read a lot of their work. It's actually the Frog comic. Oh. Um, I'm assuming that. Anyway. But yeah, she is a Swedish artist mm. and she draws frogs very often. Ooh. And her her. stories are too good. And her stories detail things about life, death, navigating like the world as you grow up. Oh. And they're very inspiring stories. Yeah. That's so cool. So I, yeah, I came to pick her brain tonight. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, this is such a cool. I mean, it sounds very classy and refined, but the last two guests now have also been ruined by me because I can picture them like shredding their food up throughout this entire <laughs> meal. Like Leve is very graceful and elegant. I feel like, and this author seems so wise and mature, but then they're going to spend the next three hours demolishing a restaurant. It's very cool. Yes, yeah, scarfing down their food. Scarfing. Mm-hmm. We yeah. see their true colours tonight. <laughs> they <laughs> unleash their inner beast. Yeah. <laughs> mm, nice. Cool. What? Those are four very cool guests. None of the elves made it. That's a shame, though. <laughs> they weren't on the VIP list tonight. Okay. Okay. We're going exclusive. Yeah. Are you mm-hmm. dropping any like crumbs of food for them out of the kindness of your heart, or? No. Okay. No, I'm taking all the food home with me today. I, I, res- I respect the principle. Mm-hmm. Have you got a big bag with you? Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Toast is actually a bag. Oh. No, you not. That's a lie. <laughs> but I will cut a hole in them. <laughs> I cut a hole in them. <laughs> <laughs> I do have them. Oh, Again, getting inside scoops into Emily's possessions here. This is a big, this big deal. This is... This is Jerry. Oh, He's my stealing bag. I love it. And this is where I'll be storing the food tonight. Nice. I'm Jerry. Nice. 
And because it's the dream restaurant, Jerry's like a Mary Poppins bag. Yes. Exactly. Never yes. ending. Oh, perfect. Or, or like Hermione's bag, depending on, you know, who you are, who you ask. It's Mary Poppins's bag. It's not Hermione's yeah. bag. I've heard people say Hermione's and I was like, huh? No, <laughs> it's Mary Poppins. Mm. Yeah. Mary Poppins. Mary, and I'll pull your umbrella fin, the frilly one, and then I'll be properly Mary Poppins. Yes, yes. For anyone who doesn't know, I have a frilly awesome. Mary Poppins umbrella. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that. Oh, I'm glad I said it then. I do. It's a fashion statement. It's my only umbrella. Because I broke <laughs> my other one. Is it with your next pair? No, I don't. I don't. Because it was like, I can't fold it. It's like actually like long. So I didn't have a way of bringing it. So you'll bring it. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. But you'll bring the sombrero hat, but you won't <laughs> bring <laughs> I, the umbrella. I made room for the sombrero hat. And I brought that back on the train as well. So I was like, I I, ha- I just had that on the train. The, the umbrella's far more explainable, I feel like. Just had to for the fashion statement. Okay, okay. But no, I used to have two umbrellas. Have- but my other umbrella was one where it's like, you you like flick out the handle like Bronwyn's. But I okay. did that too much um... and it just flew off the end. <laughs> so like I just had the yeah. handle and then the umbrella body went like, Pow! like shot off. And it was devastating. No, I think we've done that to Bronwyn. You just you just shove it back on. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I'm sure it's repairable. Oh. Let's get on with I your meal back. proper. Let's get on to the meal oh. now. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm cutting okay. the conversation. <laughs> What's our first question? I can't remember. Uh, it's, it's still a sparkling water. Mm, mm, mm. Still, if you pick sparkling water, you need to grow up. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> It does not taste nice. No, I hundred percent agree. Okay, okay. You have good taste then. So is there is there any specific water? Uh, I'm gonna say from my house part. I feel like if you go to different parts of the country, the hardness of the water levels just changes. Like down in Cornwall at my nan's house, it just tastes like I'm drinking milk from the tap. And that's not oh. ideal. Yeah, I think she needs to get her pipes like <laughs> yeah. clean. Sounds like a serious lime scale issue you've got going on there. Yeah, I don't feel very safe to drink. <laughs> so I'm going to say my tap water. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Okay, okay. So it's tap. So no, you don't want like. Do you like it in restaurants when people like sell you bottled water and you have to pay for bottled water? No, that sounds like a scam. They have yeah. taps. I can just drink out of the tap. <laughs> <It's> so true. <laughs> if, I don't want to pay for it. If you the choice was either. You pay for a bottle of still, or you drink it directly from the tap. Which one are you? Which one are you doing? Like directly, no cup. Yeah, just like lip, lips to faucet <laughs> style. And I'm like in in a restaurant in the middle of a restaurant. Yeah, but if the other people have to, so like Miyazaki's doing it, Mr. Fox is doing it as well, Lavy's doing it. They're all like all oh. lips to faucet style. If everyone's doing it, then I'll join in too. But if I'm the only one like going <laughs> ham on that faucet. <laughs> Then I'm going to get a bottle of water. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Poppadums or bread? Bread or poppadums, Emily? Poppadums or bre- bread? Bread? Nice. Tell us about the bread more. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Crusty baguette. Fresh out of the oven. Nice and warm. Mm. And then you get some... We had it when we were in Mallorca. It was mm. some garlic butter. Oh, and yeah. me and Tia literally put it on everything. <laughs> Nice. So I'd have that. Okay. Because it was heavenly. <sighs> nice. Every minute of the day I would have that. Would you like the specific it was little we bought it from, right? The specific little Yeah. New Yorker it was butter. From little. I think it was Yeah, a, but they don't sell it in over here. <sighs> no. We went on a hunt for it for ages. Damn. It was a New Yorker so, exclusive. So that is what I'd have on top of my crusty warm baguette. Oh nice. I like that. I like it's like we're already getting into sort of like memories of like happy times. I like this. This is what the this is what this podcast is so good for. I feel like getting in like examining your past. Yeah. 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 Nice. It's interesting. I like listening about mm. other people's experiences with food because yeah. you can tell a lot through food. Mm. Yeah. Um. See, the one issue with this is I'm in charge of writing down all the things that you said, and I can't spell so <laughs> Finn's gonna read it out today and he's gonna be like 
like to what what on earth have you written there so there's there's been issues with both the word baguette and Mallorca so. <laughs> well, <laughs> enjoy oh well, thank you I'm excited for that bit. that was some good good content it'll be an interesting read through mm. I think all, all of the names I had to google some of them <laughs> but <laughs> oh man yeah if you didn't know who Miyazaki was I can't imagine trying to spell that <laughs> can't believe that Rachel you're insulting my guest <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry oh well nice um yeah I think baguette's fair enough that's quite a difficult word also there's like three different ways of spelling in Mallorca isn't there so it's like there's well different countries well, there's Mallorca Mallorca and Mallorca I thought Major- I Majorca and Mallorca are the same, aren't they? Like, they're just different <laughs> ways of spelling the same island. Oh. It might be, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, that, that gives me double chance, though. Yeah. Well, we know what you mean. And hopefully we haven't just insulted people of two distinct islands. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, that'd I'm be good. I'm so sorry if we did. That'd be good not to <laughs> do in our first episode. Oh, no. We're already getting cancelled. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Uh, and, and we've oh. talked about Harry Potter. That's already like quite a contentious subject right now as well, guys. This is not good. Oh. No, but we said no to it. Oh yeah, we true, we, we true. true. We, we were Mary Poppins. Mm, that's yeah, good. So nice try, cancel culture. You ain't getting us this early on. No, you might need to file a formal apology. Okay, I feel like we're that's gonna it. have to do that for like some episodes coming up. I'm thinking Ben's. I feel like okay. Ben's. We're gonna have to issue a couple of like. Apologies <laughs> to avoid that. Disclaimers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Okay. I sure appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> that so, sounds so. lovely. Bread and garlic butter. That sounds good. Okay. We need your first drink. This will be your meal drink. Okay. That's what you're gonna be you're gonna be drinking whilst just scrambling at your food. Okay. For me, I like to just have a water with me while I'm eating. Mm. Like having too many drinks with me. It sometimes messes with the food, with the flavours. Mm. You've got to appreciate it in all its glory for now. So, I mean, crazy. Bo- I a, a boring answer, but fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. It. It, I change it later. <laughs> I swear. You can't, can't okay. fault it, I guess. But... but you're having the exact same water as before? Yeah, from Dur- the same tap Dur- as well. Direct from the tap. Okay. Um, do you want do you want anything do you want some ice? Do you want a straw? Do you want a little umbrella? Oh, a straw, yes please. I can actually take one of them. Normal straw or like curly, twisty straw? Normal, but it's gotta be having a fun design on it. Okay. Or maybe the glasses that have straw. Oh <laughs> what? They might actually get in the way though while we're scrubbing the food. <laughs> so the glasses with the straws that Yeah, what? They're just like glasses made of straws, so like they like loop up, they swirl around your eyes, and then into the drink. Hmm. Okay. So that sounds mad. sounds mad. Yeah. I mean, well, I like that. On one hand, you're like, I can't have an interesting drink because it will in- <laughs> interfere too much with the meal. But then you've got like your drink <laughs> swirling around your face at the same time, which is not as big as a distraction. No. <laughs> Right. No, that's that's a fun conversation starter. Yeah, okay. It doesn't interfere with the flavours. Yes. Mm. Nice. So, uh, still, you're still on still water, uh, mm-hmm. which is when your starter arrives. What have you ordered for your starter? Ooh, for starters, we have gone Parisian. Parisian. So, Parisian. Oui, oui, oui. So, we're going to do a fresh camembert, a whole oh. wheel of camembert. It's going to be sliced up with some delicious honey smothered all over, Mm. some rosemary, some salt, Mm. and then we're going to put it in the oven so it's all nice and good. Mm. And that is our starter with some more of the crusty baguette. Mm. Nice. Okay. There is a little bit of context for this, though. Oh, okay. So hit us. One year. One year, I came back from France with my family. And we were hooked on the cheese train for like a solid <laughs> three months. We ate nothing but cheese. So one day I came back, I think it might have been college actually. Um, and there's just a, a wheel of camembert in the fridge. And I ate the whole thing in one sitting. <laughs> wow. And it took me about a year and a half to recover. I haven't touched camembert since. So it's making a comeback. 
I'm honoured <laughs> I'm honored that it's coming back for this after that traumatic experience. I know, I know. But it's time is it's coming again, you know, like it's time is now. Did you just eat the camembert with just nothing? Like just straight out the fridge. Bare hands. It's fantastic with the box style. <laughs> just like slurping no, off your fingers. Okay. Oh no. It's been hot as well. <laughs> No, I think I had it with like crackers or maybe bread as well. Mm. But nice. yeah, it was it was a bit traumatic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's such a good image of like you just like in front of the TV and you've got like camembert like <laughs> just in front of you and you're like <sighs> Don't expose me like this, Ben. That's <laughs> pretty much what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. Oh. I'm I mean I'm I'm sorry that this. I keep coming back to this, but picturing Mr. Fox tucking in, into camembert is making me so happy right now. <laughs> it's it's gone everywhere. Oh. There's you know all the multiple everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. the bread, the cheese. It's all just everywhere. It's much, a spectacle. Much we as love the French, to see it as the French do it. I think. I think that's how they do it. In yeah, <laughs> they just go for it in France. They are ham with it. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> that sounds delicious. It's so yummy scrubbing. Are you okay with spelling camembert, Rachel, or is that another word we need to Absolute absolutely not. So <laughs> <laughs> who knows? <laughs> so the the main event. Mm. Mm, the main course. Okay. What is it? Right. Firstly, after the camembert, we need a little bit of a breather, okay? The next thing's a bit hefty. So we sat here for me and toast, the Miyazaki, Leve, uh Linear. And Mr. Fox, we're all sat here, we just have a little breather, chilling out, having a conversation. And then suddenly, what's it? Right. Our spicy gourmet beef stew in walking out. Inspired by the Legend of Zelda itself. <laughs> nice. You know, wow. yeah. So that is what our main course is. Oh, I love and it when people use like the genie. Um, element of the podcast to sort of get something fictional that they can never actually have. This is so good. This is so good. Hell yeah, I am so using that. So in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild specifically, there is a region uh, where you can get the Goron spice from. Mm. So that's the city of flames. So it's gonna be spicy. The curry is gonna have a kick to it. Nice. So it's gonna be a fiery, fiery beef curry. Mm. Oh nice. No vegetables though. Not tonight. <laughs> no vegetables. <laughs> no basically, no vegetables. So you've got beef, <laughs> no you've got beef, meat stock, and spicy the spicy broth element, right? And that's oh nice. And a big vial of rice. Oh and rice, nice, okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. What kind of rice It's gonna be a hefty rice? meal. Yeah. You're it's gonna be short grain. Short grain? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Well, that's a good combo with curry. Mm. Have you ever had sticky rice? Yeah. Sticky rice is so good. It's a pain in the ass to work with, though, like trying to mold it into stuff. <laughs> like on a yuri. Oh, yeah. It gets everywhere. Mm. Very fun, though. Yeah. I can't say that I've actually made sticky rice, but I've just eaten it, and every time I'm like, oh, sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on my fingers now. Ooh. <laughs> See, that is fantastic, Mr. Fox COVID. <laughs> uh, it gets everywhere. I wonder how, how are you going to eat the rice? Yeah. It's going to go everywhere. I'm, I'm thinking about the, like, the broth, like the stewy bit as well. That would be like... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like mouth in bowl. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, yeah. already, we're already drinking straight from the tap, so why not like <laughs> sip from the bowl? Exactly. Just dump the rice in and then scoop the whole bowl up. Mm, or... Oh. That does sound good, actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is what it? Is it all over the, the floor? floor? It's it's everywhere. Ceilings, walls, the other guests. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> not not the exclusive floor. Everyone else, though. Yeah. How was your restaurant filled with other people? Yeah, I need that ambience. Yeah. The chatting of other people. Oh, fair enough. Right. So, in okay. in a sense, the elves are getting some food then. Like, they can't help it. If you're, like, throwing it across the room in your messy consumption, they're, they'll be able they're to... They're not grab... even in the building. They're not in the building. Okay, they've wow. They've been locked out. The yeah. elf door has been locked. So they're, like, pressing up against the glass, like, <laughs> please let me in. Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. We've got a bounce from the door as well, just in case. <laughs> This is getting more They're not and more. Entering. This is getting more and more cruel as we delve more into your anti-elf <laughs> tirade. Hey man, it's an explicit night. We've got to keep the guest list small. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking mm-hmm. of Aside things from the that filled <laughs> fair enough. Sorry. <laughs> speaking of things that are small, onto your little side course. It doesn't have to be a little, but your side course, the bit that's on the side. Okay, for this, I've got two options. One mm-hmm. of them is an Emily classic. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, last year of college, an Emily autumn to winter staple was a flask of miso soup mm. every day. Yeah. It was something yeah. religious. It was every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was devoted to the miso soup. <laughs> so, for old time's sake, I've got to be bringing the miso soup back. Okay. Mm. Got some seaweed, got some tofu, the chili flakes, mm. all in there. For a nice way to just like wash everything down. Makes it feel nice and warm. Mm. And then for the second dish, we just got some fried greens. Mm. No greens in the curry. Yeah, for <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah. Just feel like they needed to make an appearance at some point in the evening. I'll mm. chuck them in there. Are there any specific greens? Have we got? Have we got broccoli. Have we got a bean. We've got long stem broccoli. No green beans. Oh. They are the devil's work. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. And then we've got some pak choy, sweet corn, but corn on the cob specifically. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, little, then, like, the little baby, oh, fair enough. Yeah, as Rachel says, they're not green, to be fair. That's... Oh, sorry. We'll paint them green. We'll get them some food colouring. <laughs> <laughs> as you, do you mean like the little baby sweet corn or like corn on the cob? Corn on the cob. Okay, oh, okay. okay. If we're devouring everything else, we might as well devour the corn as well. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, they'd be they'd be flying everywhere. Exactly, the what? little kernels popping off in the in the wind. <laughs> they can be wind in your restaurant if you like, probably. Mm, maybe not. Oh, okay. It's, it is midwinter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and you're in a woods. Evening time. <laughs> Don't want to be wearing my woolly scarf in the middle of the restaurant. <laughs> no, that would get covered in like broth as it just gets chucked everywhere. Yeah. No, it doesn't say flying in the air, not the wind. <laughs> nice. So yeah, that is it for my side dishes. Nice. So do you did you make all the miso soup you brought to college? Oh, yeah. So you were a chef of the miso? Every day, yeah. Every morning I would have my breakfast and make the miso soup. <laughs> oh. So will it be your miso soup, the one you make? Well, some well, is there someone else who made a better miso soup than you? I'm gonna say not my miso soup because it was not <laughs> the best ever. But for my birthday this year, I went to a Japanese restaurant mm. called Kinjo, mm. and they did such nice miso soup. Ooh. It was so good. Okay. Tasted like they put little gold flakes in it. Heavenly. Gold. Whoa! Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Where is, so that is where, I come from. where is Kinjo? Is that in London or is it around the home area? I think it's in Oxford. Oh, okay. So it's not far away. Oh, no, I don't know where Oxford is. Mm. <laughs> 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 I don't know that I did it before that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's our first yeah. restaurant recommendation on the podcast. Woo! Oh, God, it's so good. Their sushi is to die for. Ooh, okay. Nice. If you go, you need to get that eel. Delicious. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> all I know, all I know about eels is that uh, dragons are scared of them in How to Train Your Dragon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you were giving us like a real fact here. <laughs> that is like, a real fact. Like, yes, dragons. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They definitely. Well, they could be real in this restaurant universe. Oh. oh. Yes. Are there dragons outside the big windows? Hell yeah. Oh. It's Toothless himself. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's like, Damn. he's, he's yeah. being shown past all the queuing elves. They're like, they're like letting, <laughs> he's like the VIP. They're like, oh, Mr. Toothless, come this way, come this way. And all the elves are yeah, like, yeah, he's being asked in. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. I would love to see Hayao Miyazaki meet a dragon. I feel like. He'd be very gentle with the dragon. Mm, yeah, I think it'd be such a like a cool moment. Like I feel like he'd love to meet a dragon. Mm. 
I'd love to see him I, eat a I, dragon. I don't think he'd be that phased by the dragon. Like he'd just be <laughs> like, yeah, of course. Yeah, like, and they'd have like an instant soul connection. He's probably met dragons before. Like, that, mm, that's true. Wouldn't be that surprised. would make sense. Well, you can ask him yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions about the side dishes, or shall we move on to what's next? What is next? Oh, it's bizarre. Oh, the greatest of all courses. Here we oh. go. All right. So, what is that? We're keeping it a little bit low key, but still fancy. Okay. We're going for the strawberry tart. Okay. Mm. Got a nice thick bit of pastry. No, yeah, pastry on the bottom. Then you put some cream and cream and jam in the middle. Mm. Cream first, though. Oh yeah. The cool inch way. Oh yeah. And then you put the little strawberries on top and dust the icing sugar all over it. It's delicious. IKEA does it so well. Mm. Do you want the IKEA one? Mm. Yeah. yeah. For old times' sake, the <laughs> IKEA one. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Would you like it to be brought over on one of those like trolleys? They've got like three layers. Yeah. That's the only acceptable way to give off IKEA food. Cool. Nice. Oh, that sounds good. I'm picturing like the pastry is so thick it's almost like shortbread with like cream and strawberry jam on top. Hell yeah. Oh no. And like one of those or like a plate of three or four to indulge yourself. What? The trolleys have like three layers, so we're having <laughs> a good few. Oh, you're you're piling all three layers up with it. Hell yeah, we've got four guests to feed. We need like three each. Okay. So are they like are they like mini ones or are they like big ones you have to like have a slice? Of? Oh, yeah, that's the big ones. <laughs> we're going all in tonight. <laughs> that's sure. Yeah. It's allowed. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we can give Twizzlers an extra slice. Nice. This is giving me real like Marie Antoinette vibes. You're like you've got like loads of cake in front of you, and they're like the starving masses outside, and you're like, <laughs> no, none for them, all for me. <laughs> yeah, as it should be. The elves aren't getting any of this. Finn is real worried about them elves. I am <laughs> a big I'm a big elf advocate. Okay, I can't have us being cancelled. Like this is back to the cancel conversation. <laughs> if people start going, ah, oh, you need to treat the elves nicely. I'm on <laughs> I'm on your side. I'm on the elf side. They've got to have a voice. I think they don't. They're too small. Their voices would be lost by the time we even heard them. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> no, no rights for the elves. Not today. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, a bittersweet ending to your dessert course. That yeah. was. Um, I think we've got I've one just... last one last question for you. Yeah, so it's your your final drink. Ah, okay. You can't end a nice meal without a fun little coffee. Mm. So for my final drink, to round off the whole evening, we've got a vanilla latte. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. So <laughs> when I hot, yeah, we can't have an ice cold drink after this warm, filling meal. Just check in. <laughs> 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 But yes, the coffee is specific to a cafe I went to in London with my dad. Uh-huh. So they like ground all the beans up, like for every single cup of coffee. Like mm. it was an extensive process, but it was delicious. And I quizzed them after I had the drink. I was like, what are you using? Can <laughs> I buy this? Oh. How do I make it like you do? Nice. So it turns out they're using very fun Arabian beans. Ooh. So is- I could buy a bag. And it is the best coffee I've ever had. Is very fun, like yeah. a company name or a name that you is like your descriptor of the beans. Oh, this is my description. I don't know what the company. <laughs> oh, okay, is. I I was picturing like a company called Very Fun Arabian Beans. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they were called that. <laughs> no, I actually don't know what they're called. But this in London, near Covent Garden. Okay. I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You think I know my way around London? I go there often enough. <laughs> yeah, every week. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Don't get lost, but that's fine. <laughs> a big place. Mm, yeah. Lots of streets. Nice. That sounds okay. like a cracking drink to round off a cracking menu. 
Yeah. Nice. Is, is there a little biscuit with your puppy? Mm-hmm. Had too many little... tarts. <laughs> the full <floor> tart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nice. I have another like strawberry tart on the side with the coffee though. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, so we've gone up from the small biscuit to another strawberry tart. Yeah. Okay, well, nice. Okay, that's fine by me. The more, the more sweet, the better. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, mama, that sounds good. Oh. Um, the show makes you really hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so hungry now. Oh, <laughs> I, sh- I should have had lunch before. I'm famished. Literally. I'm just. I'm not going to eat anything that delicious. No. <laughs> oh. We're quite sad now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. like me and some custard pasta. Picking out all these strawberry tarts. Yeah. Oh. A delicious beef stew and I've got like toast. Mm. Are you dissing toast right now? No, I'm not dissing toast. Um, I'm not dissing toast. It's just... So rude. I'm sorry, toast. I'm sorry. No, he's playing his back on you. Hmm. <laughs> That actually makes it yeah. that makes it more tasty actually oh. because if it's got yeah. if it's got a face I find it more hard to eat so it's gonna be better that way around. Oh Time to have your menu read back to you, Emily. Are you ready for this? You ready to hear it? Okay. Hell yeah. Scene setting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the first <laughs> word already is. You... Oh no, Richard. <laughs> you um. I mean, evening is spelt uh, evening. I was excited. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. So it's evening, winter. You've got a bready, a bready smell, and it's dimly lit, romantic atmosphere. It's a chill, wintry evening with a forest view through these big glass windows. The dragon, some dragons coming into it. There's a yeah. piano <laughs> for Leve to play. It feels exclusive. The word exclusive is here. It's a very exclusive venue. It feels nice. Oh, yeah. Who are you with? Hayao Miyazaki, George Clooney as Fantastic Mr. Fox, Leve, and Linnea Sturk. Is that right? Linnea Sturk? Yeah. Nice. I think so. I'm not sure. I like, yeah, cool. The spell, the crossed out spelling is very fun as well because it's <laughs> Lina Sturk. <laughs> I miss like all the letters, not like whole. <laughs> Your menu, you chose still water direct from the tap. Bread or poppadoms, you chose a baguette. A baguette is baguette's right. You got baguette, that's good. That's a difficult word. Yay. Baguette with garlic butter from New Yorker. New Yorker is also done. Yay. Come on, Rachel. And then your main drink was more water from glass with a, a twisty eye glassy straw. Your starter. Yeah. Fresh camembert with honey, rosemary, salt, and more of the warm baguette for dunking. All mm-hmm. in, all in mm-hmm. one sitting in front of the TV. <laughs> Your main course, spicy gourmet beef curry inspired by Zelda. No veg, but you've got lots of short grain rice and some beef and some spicy broth. Your side dish oh, is yeah. a flask of miso soup. Oh, it says Oxted, but that's for the, the next... In the next one. Yes, Oxted is late. Oh no, you want the miso soup from Oxted, the restaurant in Oxted, which was called Ginjo. Ginjo. Yeah. Nice. And fried greens and greens and corn on the cob on the side. Lovely. And then for dessert, <laughs> strawberry tart, thick, thick pastry with cream, jam, strawberries from IKEA. And your final drink is a vanilla latte from a London cafe with a little mini tart on the side. <laughs> That sounds, that sounds good. What do you think, Rachel? Yeah, sounds like a cracking menu. I'd, I'd join you for this one. Happily. I'll have a next week. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be scrambling that up. Delicious. And I, unironically, I would be going in like Fantastic Mr. Fox to every single one of those courses. <laughs> just tearing the shit out. It's so good. It's kind of unsettling that I can picture you going like Fantastic Mr. Fox style. Like, yeah. I'm famously a messy eater, so... That's how I eat most of my foods. <laughs> <sighs> That's true. Do you have something in common? <laughs> well, thanks for coming to the Dream Restaurant, Emily. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, oh, very well, well, well done for having me. Well done for having me. Yeah. Mm. Wait, what was the special secret thing? Am I allowed to know? I don't see why not. 
It was like a baked cheesecake. Oh, okay. I had a conversation with someone about this last night. I'm not going to say who, because that is spoilers for potential future episodes. Oh, oh, oh. man. We, oh, that was close. Mm, yeah. Oh, imagine if we got someone kicked out in the first episode. <laughs> 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 oh, imagine if we hadn't done baked cheesecake now, but we'd done it for their episode as well, which presumably is coming up. Well, yeah, they said they were excited to come on, so nice. guess you wait and see. Well, wait and see. I mean, it's probably a good job that we're not getting people kicked out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm quite like, glad. I was nervous about that. I, didn't want to <laughs> I was nervous when we were going into pudding. I was like. <laughs> yeah. Even <laughs> <Keep it> chattering. <laughs> oh, well, for all the talk of kicking out, please leave now because the podcast is oh. at an end. Perfect. Thank you very much for having me, guys. Thanks bye for bye. coming. It's been a lovely chat. Yeah.